Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be discussing all the books I read in the month of September. Major's here with me, and so I'm feeling nervous. Hey! Um, yeah, it's October 8th. It's 8.20, and I'm realizing this is like the time to film this video, so I'm gonna do it. Um, it might be quick, but we're just gonna discuss it because I have a record of keeping track of the books I read so we need a September video, even though it's like a week late. I'm jump into it. A lot of the books I read um, this month or last month, I guess, were school books. I think that's gonna kind of be a common theme for the next couple months. So I apologize for that, but eventually, hopefully, I'll read for fun again. Um, anyways, the first book I read actually was a school book and that was King Solomon's Minds. This is a classic, I believe. Um, I rated it I rated it two stars the review just says mid so I don't really remember that much about it well I do remember it's like British imperialism mm -hmm. a little bit yeah that's really it which is like yeah that's like good to study but like it wasn't fun like from an enjoyment level um so yeah just bland boring you. This book I read was actually a poetry collection and that was in the Mecca, which actually I'm not sure if this is a poetry collection or if it's one long poem that's considered a book, um, but I did enjoy it. It was by Gwendolyn Brooks. I read it at four stars um, and I thought it demonstrated race and class um, in a very energized way and so I enjoyed it. It was different. First time ever reading Brooks and I think she's an incredible poet. And I would definitely recommend it to people that are interested in poetry. One actually I read Isn't It Romantic, which this was the last book that I had to read in the series. So I'm so excited to be all caught up with the series and like kind of finished until she publishes more. And I rated it five stars. I love all the books in this series. They're pretty, like they're very chill, like super easy to read, um, lighthearted. And that's exactly why I love them. They're very digestible and they're easy to read. I think I already said that. You get through them very quick um, and they always make you feel good, which is always fun, especially in the midst of like all of this classic literature that I'm reading. Um, but yeah, rated it five stars. It was about uh, Vlad the Russian um, and I like him. He was a sweet character. I liked hearing kind of like he was injured. She was taking care of him and like kind of finding love after it was lost, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, The Water Babies, I also rated this one two stars. I honestly, I think out of all the books um, or po poems that I read for English 655, this is the one I remember the least. Really don't remember that much about it. I know there was like a lot of religious ties to it um, with like the water making you cleanly or like, giving you back like goodness kind of similar to like the baptism in um like current religions i don't know all the religions that believe in baptism but definitely christianity and catholicism um so yeah two stars wasn't my favorite thing yeah i kind of read more i kind of read more um fun books than expected because I also read Jasper Vale and Crimson River, which is the fourth and fifth six, well, it is the fourth and fifth book of books of the Eden series. Right, I like the characters and yeah, it's good. It reminds me of Chestnut Springs, which I really like. Major, you should read. Yeah, I'm gonna look at that now. Yeah, you should read Chestnut Springs and the Edens. I really like them. They're like small town. They're definitely feel good, like if you're in a romance, like easy mm -hmm. mood. Yeah. I will say the Edens has more like thrillerness to it, uh -huh. whereas Chestnut Springs is literally just like small town vibes. Which one would you read first? I read Chestnut Springs first, okay. and the the final book is actually coming out on the thirteenth really? of this month. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. See, if you had a Kindle, they're on Kindle Unlimited. 
<laughs> no! Yeah. Why did you tell me that? I know, sorry, sorry. Can I, like, imagine I buy it, like, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> you get it rush shipping to <laughs> arrive tomorrow. Uh, That's so funny. Wait, is it 13th is Friday? Yeah. I get to read that on Friday. No. Anyways, I really like it. I liked, again, finishing up where I was at with like finishing series, I guess. I hate starting a series and like not finishing it. So really glad. Jasper Vale rated it four stars. Crimson River also rated it four stars. I will say Crimson River was like, what is happening right now? But I still enjoyed it. And if you like, again, Chestnut Springs or you've started the Edens, I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> wow. Pookie. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why did I do that? What just overcame me? <laughs> Pookie. <laughs> actually writing my final paper over the princess and the goblin so i definitely like it more than other pieces that we've read um in the class but still not my favorite thing um there is a tv show or a movie and major and i were considering watching it and i still think we should um because we had to suffer through reading it together so I read which I am so glad I read it was normal people I reread this the first time I read it was in 2021 so the summer after my freshman year of college um, had no idea what was going on I know I liked it because I rated it three stars but I don't think I understood it completely and I also remember reading it very very quickly like I didn't give myself time to like appreciate what I was reading it was also the first time I had ever read Sally Rooney, so I didn't understand the no quotation marks. I didn't understand her um, like writing dynamic between characters because I feel like she has a very common theme in all of her um, pieces. But anyways, I rated it five stars this time. I thought it was incredible. I was underlining, could not stop. It was so good. Definitely recommend. Um, oh my gosh, see, I read more fun books than I thought because then I read Divine Rivals. I'm a part of... Jayhawk Reading Association or Society. I can't remember. I never remember, but we had Divine Rivals as our August book of the month or September book of the month, September book of the month. And I rated it five stars. This fantasy was so, so good. I understand the hype personally. Um, I need a typewriter now, like immediately. And I need the second book also immediately, which I think it comes out in December. So definitely going to be looking forward to that. But yeah, I recommend that so much. A Romance of Two Worlds, which again, this was for my English 655 class. I rated it two stars, didn't understand it. I feel like it was a critique of religion, but also like a manifesto of religion. And so it was very interesting. Don't have much to say on it. Written by a woman, which I support. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. And Ariel, and oh my gosh, guys, this is Sylvia Plath's um, last collection that she had and rated it five stars. It's incredible. Never have I ever read anything from Plath, and so this was like an amazing look into who she was. Um, and especially because it was like the last few poems that she was writing before her death. And so incredible stuff, loved it so much. Um, yeah, 100% recommend. I did read it for class, but actually you should take it. Yeah, I yeah. wanna, I'm gonna, gonna I'll get it to you. Okay. Cause it's so good. Um, and then the last book I read for the month of September was Practice Makes Perfect. This is the second book in When in Rome by Sarah Adams. I actually really enjoyed this one. I rated it five stars, which is the highest rating I've given to any of her books. I just like the fake like dating scenario that they were doing or practice dating. Love the characters, thought it was really, really good. Um, and yeah, I loved it. I really related to Annie in a lot of ways, so. Good writing. Those are all the books I read for the month of September. I will get back to you guys soon for my October TBR. And before I know it, I'm gonna be doing an October wrap up. So time needs to slow down because what's happening. Um, anyways, yeah, thanks for sticking along with me. Let me know what you guys are reading or what you read in September and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace and love, bye guys. <laughs> wow. Whoa, why did I stick my tongue out? <laughs> That's his thumbnail.